So we talk about a number theory problem, that is problem 22, of this year's MC12. Now this problem would be straightforward if you know Mobius function, but of course not every high schooler know about this. But if you do, it will be easy. But if you don't, no worries. We're going to guide you through the process. That's how you explore things and then try to solve problems. And that is what competitive math is about. It is helpful, but it's less meaningful to use advanced knowledge. f is a what is called arithmetic function that is defined and is a unique function that is defined on positive integers satisfy this equality here. This summation sign is over all the positive divisors. d is the divisors, right? The summation is d times this function here, f, unknown function, of n over d, and this total summation add up to 1. We are asked to find out the value for f 2023. So if you know Mobius function here, which is mu of n, it's a very useful tool in number theory. If a number has squares, in the prime factorization is going to be zero, all right? And if it's a square free number, then it really depends on how many unique prime you have, negative one of that. If you have odd number of prime factors, that's negative one. Otherwise it's one. Special value one, no prime factors, the value is one, all right? So six is two times three, two factors, that's also one. Now 12, because you have a square in the prime factorization, that's zero. So why is this useful? There's very famous results, which is also uh, very useful in the elementary number theory. If you have a function, is the sum of another function here, you can reverse it, the g function here, g of n, would, was gonna be this inversion here is, is, has, has this mu here, we just introduced, over all the divisors, and then the mu times f of n over d. So if you use that, we can solve the problem easily. We're gonna introduce two methods, one with this powerful tool, one without it. And the more interesting part, of course, is how to go about solving this problem without the prior knowledge on this fact. So we're given that for a unique function f defined over integer, we have this identity for all the integers, where the summation here is over all the divisor of a given integer. Our task is to try to find f of 2023. If you are familiar with Mobius function and also the Mobius inversion formula, then you can solve this problem easily. So let's try that. So first of all, we need to know 2023 when you factor it, it's going to be 7 times 17 squared. So it is not square free. So it has a 17 square as a factor here. This is what we're given. We would like to rewrite this. Fact is that d and n over d is one to one correspondence for the factors of n. If d is a divisor, then n minus d is also a divisor of d. The summation can be rewritten as this one. All right, so this summation is actually equal to this summation. Why are we rewriting this? Because we want to take n, which is a constant for the summation, outside of the summation. So we have n, and then the summation is over all the divisors, and then that's going to be f d over d. We're going to use this inversion formula here. So what is our f n and g n, right? We're going to rewrite this equation here. So 1 over n would equal to sigma of fd over d. Our fn in the formula here, this is going to be our f in the formula, right? So in the formula here, that's going to be the g. What is g? So g here, g is f of d over d. So g of m is going to equal the inversion here we're, we're saying that is mu and f right 
So it's mu of d. And then f of n over d. This is a g, so we plug in. So that is f n over n equal to summation. But all the divisors and mu of d. And what is f? f is 1 over n. 1 over n over d, right? Of course, you can move this to the top, becomes d over n. What you can do, you can multiply n on both sides. So what you have is fn is going to equal sigma d, and this is mu of d times d. All right, so um, in our case, we try to find 2023 which equals 7 times 17 square and what's the divisors here the divisors here is going to be 1 7 7 17 7 times 17 and 7 times 17 square and of course we're missing one one term here we're missing 17 square here right the total six divisors so we just plug in right so fn F2023 would equal to mu1 times 1 plus mu7 times 7 plus mu17 times 17 and plus mu7 times 17, 7 times 17. And the square, notice that mu. Whenever you have square, mu is zero. So we can ignore those terms. So what's mu1? Mu1 is one. Mu7, because that's only one prime factor here, would be negative one. So minus seven. Here would be negative one, right? Minus 17. And here there's two factors, two prime factors. So mu is going to be positive one. So it's going to plus seven times 17. So that is nothing but one minus seven. 1 minus 17, that's negative 6 times negative 16, so the answer is positive 96. So that's the answer. And we use the knowledge of Mobius inversion formula. What if we don't know that? I'm sure most high schoolers won't have this knowledge. So when you see this problem, how would you solve it? So don't be intimidated by the unknown notation or form of problems you want to look at this try to express this equation try to figure out a pattern that is all math competition about it's about innovative thinking for a problem that you have never seen before try it out and then observe a pattern and then solve the problem let's go the way to approach this sort of problem is try out some simple numbers right because this identity is true for all the integers how about some special numbers? Like we start with n to 1, what will happen? The summation is going to be 1 times f of 1, and it's going to equal to 1. So what we do is f1 must equal to 1. How about some prime numbers? Right? Prime. The two divisors, 1 and p. The summation would be 1 f of p plus p and then f of 1 equal 1. fp is going to equal 1 minus p because f1 earlier we know that this is a 1. Now how about prime power n equal p squared? The divisors is going to be 1 p p squared. So the summation is going to be three terms here. So which is 1 times f of p squared plus p times f of p and plus p squared times f of 1 that equal to 1. Plug in the values that we know earlier. So that's going to be f p squared plus this is going to be p 1 minus p and this is going to be p squared equal to 1. You can combine the terms here. This becomes p because p squared cancels. You move p to the right hand side. What, it, what you get is f p squared equal 1 minus p. So 
So notice that for 2023, some divisor is going to be 7 times 17, right? What if uh, n equal p times q, where p, q are different prime numbers? The divisors are 1, p, q, p times q. So we plug in the equation, the summation of all the divisors 1 and f, p times q, plus p of fq, plus q of fp, plus pq of f1, f1 is 1, equal to 1. You plug in the value here, this is p, 1 minus q, and this is going to be q, 1 minus p, and this is going to be p times q, that's equal to 1. If you do the math, what you find is that is equal 1 minus p times 1 minus q. So we're almost there. So 2023 again has this form of p q square. Okay, so p another prime square. So what is that? For the general case, if n equal p times q square, so what you can do is the, the divisor is going to be 1 p q p times q and then q square and then p times q square. Summation of 1 times f of n minus p q square, right, plus p times f of q square, right, plus q f of p q, and plus p times q, and then f of q, yeah, plus q square times f of p, and then finally is p q square times f of 1 equal to 1. So plug in the values that we have derived earlier, this is the quantity we want to find out, right? So f p times q square plus, so it's p times 1 minus q plus q times 1 minus p, 1 minus q plus p q, 1 minus q plus q square, 1 minus p plus times 1, right? So p q square, p times q square equal to 1. So if you do the math, pq cancels, pq square cancels, and this entry here is going to be plus q minus q square minus pq plus pq square. So pq square cancels, and q square cancels. Of course, you have 1 and you have this term, right? And then what you have is fp times q square is going to equal 1 and then you have p so minus p and you have q move to the right hand side minus q and if minus pq becomes plus pq this is nothing but 1 minus p 1 minus q what we're looking for 2023 is equal f 7 times 17 square is going to equal 1 minus 7 1 minus 17 that's equal 96 same as earlier results all right so the lesson here is that don't be afraid of try out different things for a problem that you have never seen before so in your case by looking at this identity try out with some special value of integers where it's one one prime vector p square and so on and so forth and then you derive different formula and eventually you're able to get the correct answer. I admit, it's not easy, but again, that's how you learn math. All right, hope you enjoy the video. For these and other interesting math problems, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.